time you got over here. Oh, I know. Your husband wouldn't let me go. It's a pain in me. No, it's not. It's already done.
Please stand and greet our celebrant, Father Paul. Entrance antiphon. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. Friday morning here in Naples. Uh, let's pause for all our blessings and our gifts. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate and to enter into these sacred and profound mysteries. Let's pause for a moment and call to mind all of our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead, Lord, for each one of us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that being rightly confirmed to these Paschal mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. And this is the letter delivered by them the apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us 
have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations, for your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among your people, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what the master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This is my command, to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. There's an old story that uh, St. John, when he was an old man on the island of Patmos, he, uh, the people became disgruntled. They started to complain because they would approach uh, St. John and they'd say, uh, with all due respect, we heard that sermon before. They would complain about, imagine to this great saint. And uh, the problem was that uh, the people became dissatisfied. They became angry. They were annoyed, they were disgruntled because St. John, week in, week out, preached on the need to love one another. That's the message of John's Gospel 
to love one another. And so the story goes, now it's only a tradition, but the tradition goes that uh, one time a man approached him and again he said, uh, St. John, I know I don't want to say it, but the people are again complaining. They're complaining that week after week you're saying, go out and love one another. So St. John looked at the man with love and he said, I'll tell you what, I'll preach a different sermon when all of you put those words into action. And uh, really, the idea of uh, love, we can dilute the word, because uh, in English, there's only one word for love, right? We say, I love uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I love my cat, Fluffy. I love my Aunt Betty, right? There's only one word that captures all the different distinctions, but the Greeks, in their great wisdom, had three words for love. There was philia, which is platonic love, the love between family. And then there was eros, which was romantic love, the love between a husband and wife. But the highest form of love, according to the Greeks in their great wisdom, was agape, which is the love that Christ poured out for us on that first Good Friday. A sacrificial love. A love that will give up everything for the love of one another. A love that will lay down his life out of love for another. And uh, I'll just close with this. Uh, we see it in sometimes the lives of the saints, uh, Maximilian Kolbe, who died, I mean, not that long ago in the, the eyes of the church, he, he dies in 1941. And the story is that uh, even as a, a young boy, he has a great devotion to Mary. And uh, it's said that Mary appeared to him when he was around 10 years of age. And she had two crowns in her hands. And she says, which crown do you like? And being a 10-year-old kid, he said, I'd like them both. But they say, be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. One was the crown of virginity, which he accomplished. He became a Catholic priest. And the other was the crown of martyrdom, and he fulfilled that too, but a brutal death. The Nazis, what they would do is when anyone escaped, uh, he's, he's taken because he opposes the Nazis, uh, and he's quite vocal with uses of media, and newspapers and all the rest. Well, to make a long story short, he's taken to Auschwitz, and uh, he, uh, one person escapes, and so what the Nazis would do is, if one person escaped, 10 prisoners would be executed. So they randomly rounded up 10 prisoners, and he was one of the 10, Maximilian Kolbe. And, uh, excuse me, let me get my facts right. He wasn't one of the 10, there were 10 rounded up, but he, he said to the commandant, I'm old. I'm a Catholic priest. And one of the men who was to be executed was younger. And he says, this man is young and he has a wife and a family. Take me in his place. And so the Nazis were always worried about efficiency. And because Colby was old, the man was younger, he was granted that request. But Maximilian Kolbe suffered one of the most horrible deaths. He, he, he was uh, placed in, in, a, in a bunker with other people, and he was literally starved to death. No food and water for over two weeks. I had to put it down when I was, when I was reading it. 
uh, and he kept on, uh, he kept alive. And so uh, finally the uh, Nazis uh, put him to death with carbolic acid. They injected carbolic acid. But uh, they say uh, that he was, uh, was testified at his canonization by a Nazi officer that when they found him, Maximilian Kolbe's face was in ecstasy. And we know he was looking at the woman he loved. He was communicating with Mary, the mother of God. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for all of us. Now, turning to Christ, the source of all love, the source of all love and every blessing, let us humbly approach him with all our needs. Prayer. For the faithful, may the example of our Blessed Mother bring us to rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, and persevere in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all unborn children, may individuals and governments protect them from conception to birth. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, may we grow in our devotion to Mary asking her constantly to intercede for us and for all people in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially the souls remembered in our Easter spiritual bouquet, may they sing God's praise with Mary, our mother, and all the saints and angels in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, for peace in the world, for our lonely and aging, for our troops, for an end to abortion and capital punishment, and for the ill of our parish, especially those on our prayer list. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions which are more, most dear to us, which we lift up at this time in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a special way for Barbara Pachichi, who passed away yesterday, and her husband Michael, for Barbara and Michael Pachichi. We pray for Peter Haney and Mary Ellen, for John and Jean. We pray for Vincent Las Brigada. We pray for Joan Perry, uh, celebrating her birthday, and the Perry family, for Joan Perry, the Perry family. We pray for Lester Fuller, still celebrating his birthday, and, uh, and uh, Vincent Las Brigada. We pray in a special way for Barbara Correa in d and all of you, uh, for Fred and Achilles and Laurie and Taylor, uh, for Dennis and Judy Rogers, for James Neri and Kelly Neri, the Rogers family. Uh, let's pause now for all your intentions that each one of you holds in the silence of your hearts. And the Kreber family, uh, Mary Lou and Frank Kreber, 
Dr. Jim and Barney. For Dr. Jim and his wonderful wife, Barney. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all these prayers in the name of Mary's Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make us an eternal offering, ever pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the beautiful Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so now, with all the angels and archangels, with all the martyrs and the saints, with all the powers and hosts of heaven, we declare in one voice the song of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Frank our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, in a special way, your faithful servant, Louis Vagnone, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that Louis Vagnone who was united with your son, Jesus, in a death like his, that Louis may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Maximilian Colby and St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all worry and distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, joy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. The communion antiphon. The crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Alleluia.
pick. Do you have a pick? We have partaken of these gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son Jesus commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in love and in charity through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you and all your loved ones all your family members, living and deceased, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful weekend.